All right, thanks, guys. We went once again 3-1 and one yesterday in our premium sports picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Coming off a 75% day on a Monday. And I'm going to talk more about that in just a moment. But let's go ahead and dive into our first match of the show. And it's going to be in the Nicaragua Primera Division Soccer League. And we're going to start with last place Deportivo. Las Sabanas taking on Municipal Jalapa, 6 o'clock Eastern start time. And believe it or not, this last place Sabanas squad is the plus money favorite in this matchup here at plus $1.45. Totals at 2.5 and and the draws plus 210. And if you like Jalapa in an upset, they're currently plus 165 for some money line cash and plus a dollar on the goal line. Now, Jalapas won two out of their last three with marquee victories over Ocotal, Juventus, and Water Ferretti. They gave up just one goal in totality within those three wins. Jalapas currently in fourth place in the 10-team Premier League and is just six points behind for the second-place spot. Meanwhile, Sabanas on the other side is in last place in Liga Primera, winning just one match out of their last eight contests. They currently trail first place Managua FC, by 20 points, and they are currently posting a record of just 2-8 and eight with four draws on the season. Now, total-wise, four out of Sabana's last five games stayed under 2.5 total goals. Meanwhile, six out of Jalapa's last seven matches stayed under 2.5 goals themselves. Not a bad spot for underbetters, in my opinion. I also think this is a very good spot for Jalapa backers, catching generous plus money. I'm going to lean toward the dog in this one. Give me ART, Municipal Jalapa, plus 165, getting the job done for some plus money cash. And with that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Tuesday's Nicaraguan Primera League action. Happy Tuesday to you. Hopefully you're having a good start to your week. Now, before we go ahead and move on with the program, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com uh, patreon slash Brock Page, where once again, we went three and one yesterday at our four premium sports picks on that website. Almost didn't remember what it was. Good for 75% on a Monday. That's also going to put us at three and one in our last four daily best play tier package plays on that site as well. We do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. Currently, we have well over 600 members currently active and signed up onto that page. Now, you might be wondering, why would all those folks sign up to receive Patreon picks when they can get them here for free on YouTube? And that's certainly a great point, a great concern. But there is a big problem with me handicapping every single game on the board side in total. And the problem with that is this. If you were to bet every single game on the board that I put out here on YouTube side in total, uh, you are guaranteeing yourself failure. And no, you're not mishearing me. I meant that. If you're going to bet every single game that's on the board, every single game that's on the slate with your hard-earned money, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. As, as a matter of fact, it's a, uh, it's a formula for disaster. It's a recipe for disaster. The books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. They have a lot more money than you and I do to be able to absorb that kind of action. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. And most important, the math becomes aggressively against you the more and more games you play like that. So what I do on Patreon is I make, a life, I, I make life a lot easier for you. I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day, high percentage picks, games that I personally have action on. And uh, I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is uh, a whole lot better than it is here on YouTube, handicapping every single game on the board side in total. So there's the value in Patreon. And the good news is if is this, if you want to check out my current Patreon record, you can absolutely do that for free right now. It's located right on the homepage. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Of course, without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive back into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube in the Nicaragua Liga Primera. And all starts, as always, 
our Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got first place, Managua FC taking on Deportivo Ocotal, 6.30 p.m. start time. Ocotal is the massive $8.50 underdog in this one with a total at 2.5. The draw is plus 450, and if you like Managua to get the job done here, you may want to take them on the goal line in this one. They're currently minus 450 on the money line, but minus 120 laying the goal and a half. And speaking of FC, they've been dominant this year, going 9-2 and two with three draws thus far in the season. As a matter of fact, they haven't lost a match in their last eight outings. FC's garnered themselves some marquee wins over the likes of Deary Engine, Chinandega, and Juventus in their last three victories. They're also 20 points ahead of Ocotal for the top spot in the division. And speaking of Ocotal, really struggling to score as of late. Just five total goals in their last eight matches. They're right in the middle of a five-match winless streak. They've also won just one match in their last eight. And they're just two and eight with four ties on the year. Now, two out of Ocotal's last three stayed under two and a half total goals. Five out of their last eight also stayed under the two and a half as well. Similar trends for Managua FC on the other side as three out of their last four stayed under two and a half as well. I'm going to lean toward the front runners in this one. It's going to be a tight window, but give me Managua FC minus one and a half and the under two and a half in that contest. Next match, Deary Engine versus Chinandega, eight o'clock start time. Chinandega is plus 650 on the money line. Heavy dogs in this one. Totals at three flat, and the draws plus 390. If you like the favorite in this one, Deary Engines minus 335 on the money line, and minus 105 laying the goal and a half. Deary Engines currently in second place in Liga Primera with 27 total points. They're currently 8-3 and three with three draws, and have lost just two out of their last eight. Deary Engines beaten Walter Ferretti, Ocotal, and Real Madrid within the past couple of weeks. Meanwhile, Chinandega on the other side, nine points behind their opponents in the standings with a 5-6 and six record along with three ties. Chinandega has been victorious in just three out of their last eight, including a humiliating defeat to Walter Ferretti two Sundays ago by the final score of 7-0. Total-wise, just three out of Chinandega's last eight actually got over three goals. Meanwhile, Deary Engine on the other side has seen the total fly over three goals in just one out of their last eight themselves. Looks like a pretty good spot for a chalky lean. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Deary Engine. Minus one and a half on the goal line and the under. Three goals in that contest. Next battle, it is going to be Real Esteli squaring off against Juventus Managua. Nine o'clock Eastern start. Managua's plus 525 on the money line. Totals two and a half. Draws 335. And if you like yourself some chalk in this one, Esteli's minus 245 on the money line and minus 145 laying the goal on the goal line. Esteli's currently tied with Deary Engine for second place in the league at 27 total points, respectively. And similar to Deary Engine, Real Esteli's currently 8 and 3 with three draws and has only tasted defeat once in their last six matches. Esteli's given up a measly four goals in their last eight matches, including shutout victories against Sabados, Real Madrid, and Jalapa. Furthermore, Esteli's got themselves a diverse roster, including Tofik Wark from Mexico and Lucio Barroca from Argentina. Now, if you like Juventus on the other side, things aren't looking so optimistic as they are 11 points behind their counterparts in the standings. They've lost two out of their last three being shut out by Chinandega and Jalapa during those matches. Juventus is currently just 4-6 and six on the season with four draws. Now, total-wise, lots of action in these Juventus games as just two out of their last seven stayed under three goals. I think we'll see Esteli finally light up the scoreboard a little bit in this one. I'm going to lean Real Esteli, minus one, getting the job done on the goal line in the over two and a half goals in that game. All right, I'm going to slide in my next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Walter Ferretti taking on Real Madrid's 9 o'clock p.m. start. Madrid's is plus 380 with the total at three flat. Ferretti's minus 180 and plus 105 catching the goal. The draw's plus new 90 in this contest. Ferretti's won two out of their last three, including a very impressive shutout victory against second place Real Esteli in their most recent match. 
Freddie's given up just two goals in their last three contests and is currently tied with Halapa for fourth place at 6-5 six and five with three draws. Madrid's on the other side is seven points behind their opponents in the standings at just four and eight on the year with two ties. Unfortunately for Madrid's backers, they've won just two out of their last eight. And they are just four points ahead of Ocotal and Sabanas for last place in the division. Total-wise, just one out of Madrid's last seven matches got over three total goals. Meanwhile, Ferretti on the other side is seeing a similar trend as well as just two out of their last eight got over three total goals themselves. I'm going to lean toward Ferretti in this matchup here. Give me Depo, uh, let's try that again, Deportivo, Walter Ferretti, minus one on the goal line and the under three goals in that matchup there. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Yenny Tun, Mario Lunar, Brent Hall, Zymar Trax, James Medina, Browns 2220, LA Buddha Bag Doe. Shout out to Jack Peter, Sandbox Mafia, GG Gelishvili, Jonathan Cabrera, D- uh, Layla W. And last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to Stephen Lewis. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Tuesday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.